Hey everyone, just a really quick video here. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting and stuff, it's um, pretty bad, but I'm only going to be talking for just a second. Um, <coughs> got a bit of a cough. Basically there's been a lot of interest in my Power Mac G3, which is great. Um, people are saying, you know, you've got the Mac Pro and I'm really glad you're still tinkering around with this Power PC stuff. And um, the Mac Pro is a main computer, it's a new computer. And I do everything on it, but I still have the bigger soft spot in my heart for PowerPC hardware. I think it's great. And the Power, the Power Mac G3 is a great example of that. It's a lovely, lovely machine. So, um, a few of you have been commenting. And it sounds like you guys think that this computer is almost unusable. Now, granted, it is extremely, extremely slow. Uh, we're talking 400 megahertz PowerPC G3 machine. Um, one gig of RAM, which is actually quite high for a machine of that age, but I maxed it out in the previous uh, G3 video. But yeah, um, I'm just going to show you something now. I'm going to show you a game called Quake 3 Arena. Um, this was released for Mac, and it was quite popular on Mac at the time, actually, um, which is surprising. Um, Quake 3 Arena, it was on the Dreamcast as well. It looks, um, looks graphically... Um, better than things like the PlayStation 1 and N64, uh, but not quite as good as things like the PlayStation 2, GameCube and Xbox. Um, but graphically, it looks pretty damn good on the G3. This has got the ATI Rage 128 with uh, six, uh, 16 megs of VRAM. It sounds a bit high, actually. 16 megs of VRAM. I think it probably is 16, but um, I'll put the full specs of this G3 in the video description, and I'll run Quake 3 now on a few different settings and show you what it's all about. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you very, very shortly. Now then, guys, it is a bit on the unfortunate side that um, I can't um, use any type of screen recording program, um, but pointing the camera at the computer monitor should do okay if I just get it set up properly. The only complaint I have about this camera, guys, is the fact that there's so much stuff on the screen when you're recording that you can't fully see what's in the frame. But anyway, um, I'll let this boot up, I'll get the game all set up, and I'll try and find a position for me to be able to play it with the tripod here. Well, guys, I will be playing this at the world's most awkward angle, um, but basically, Oh, by the way, please don't judge me on my gaming performance. I can barely see the monitor. Um, okay. So, here is Quake 3, and let's launch her up. <laughs> <coughs> now, it's likely that the volume will be quite quiet. Now, I'm only just using the um, internal speaker in the G3 at the moment. But what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to put the um, sound up a bit. So we'll crank it all the way up so you can hear it. So, um, what we're going to do is, up here, we're going to use the graphic settings option, and we're going to put it on uh, fastest. Now, what this means is it reduces all of the graphic settings to very minimal so that you get extreme performance with absolutely no lag on pretty much any system. So, in theory, when I play this game now, it should uh, run very smoothly no matter what. Sorry if I hit the tripod or whatever, guys. Um, this is seriously an awkward angle. By the way, I'm also playing with the... Um, the old hockey puck mouse, so it's very hard to do this. Okay, so here is the game. Now, the first thing you'll notice, guys, is this doesn't remind you of an old PlayStation 1 game. Okay, so we've got absolutely no lag. And if there is any lag, it's extremely minimalistic. Um, I mean, this game is smooth, really smooth. And we have got it on the best options. You could go and tweak them and make it run even smoother. But, as you can see, it's coping really well. Fully playable. Now then, guys, what we're going to do is um, go on to graphics again. And we're going to bring her up to normal. 
Now, this increases it slightly more. This makes it sort of your bare average game for the time. Um, so you're not cranking up the settings and you're not cranking down the settings. This is what it says on the tin. This is normal. So instant viewability, there's a lot more shadow on the game. The stairs are in shadow and general things like that. There's a few more lighting effects. Um, when you shoot, the effects from your gun look better. Um, everything just runs a little bit better. Uh, looks a little bit better, sorry. <coughs> but one thing you'll notice is the game is still smooth. It's still really smooth. Now we're talking 400 megahertz G3 here. Okay, now every time I die I change the graphic settings. Sorry I keep knocking the camera, guys. Now then, what we're going to go on now is we're going to go on high quality. Now what this does is it cranks stuff up and look, we're going to grab the texture detail and we're going to bring her up even more. There you go. So we are now on high quality. So we will look and see what this looks like. Okay. Now then, there goes your lag. Now, if I stay still, you can see that the game looks great. But let's go around and play the game a little bit. Now guys, call me strange for making a comparison like this, okay? But basically, when you get uh, your PC and it is outdated by maybe three years, and you're a gamer, and that new game comes out, and you know, you're like, I just, I don't meet the system requirements, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Um, this is the kind of speeds I'm getting here. Now, this doesn't look playable on camera, but guys, it really isn't that bad. Um, it has good moments and bad moments, depending, that, that's a particularly bad moment there, you see? Very easy to get killed there. But it can go from this to being really smooth. There you go, see, that is smooth. Little bit of lag. Now, guys, this is cranking the game all the way up. I believe this game is about a year or maybe a year and a half newer than this computer. And I've cranked it right up and, guys, it's playing it. And it looks, looks lovely. The game itself looks lovely. So what I would do to run this game is probably either run it on normal or crank it up a little bit. So, guys, this might have seemed like a quite a random video, but I just wanted to express that to you, that um, G3 is aren't the worst thing in the world. They're doing, they're doing really good. Um, this is an old game, I understand this is an old computer, I'm gonna get bad comments for this video, but guys, I just wanted to express that to you. Um, they're not useless hunks of junks that sit in the corner. If I wanted to play some Quake 3, then I'd much rather play it on my G3 than on my Mac Pro, because, well, it's just cool. I mean, if you were to buy Quake 3 in the, back in the day, it's highly likely that you would be playing it on a Power Mac G3 or an iMac G3 or an old PowerBook G3 or something like that. So, it's just nice and nostalgic. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope this has given you a cool little insight to the world of PowerPC G3 and Quake 3. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.